what's going on guys welcome to the channel and it looks like the very controversial netflix live action cowboy bebop has dropped its official trailer and i'm going to be 100 percent honest with y'all i kind of liked it it looks really good it was full of action uh i think that does, it doesn't change how I feel about the horrible wardrobe in regards to Daniela Panetta's Faye or the older looking Spike and the uh, race swapped Jet Black. It doesn't change how I feel about that, but I would say this. If they can somehow produce a well-written story full of action and at least somewhat uh, faithful to the source material, I can forget these small stuff. I think the show has potential just from looking at the trailer by itself. Now, just keep in mind that you can actually go watch the anime right now on Netflix as you're waiting for the live action to drop November 19th. That's if you are excited about it. If you haven't seen the trailer, I advise once you're done watching this episode, go ahead, watch the uh, trailer, come back here. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm actually very curious. I let y'all you know right now, I think it's pretty good. Now, before I go any further into the article, do me a favor. Y'all know the vibes, man. Hit the subscribe button. Your support is greatly appreciated. You talk about pop culture, updates in pop culture, as you can see here, um, Cowboy Bebop update. And we rant about pop culture on this channel. And as you guys know, if you're a subscriber already and you check out the comment section, my opinion is bound to trigger somebody and it's usually very entertaining. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the article. It says, the once despised live action Netflix Cowboy Bebop series has unleashed its first trailer and negative criticism of it has been minimal, perhaps indicating that the unfaithfulness to the source material, toxic feminist ideology, and the bastardization of sexy female form is apparently okay for the average individual. The show itself looks good. Um. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, it doesn't change how I feel about the cosplaying, well, not the cosplay, the, the wardrobe for the characters. I still think they could have done a lot better. I think, uh, I still think John looked too old to play the role as he's in his 50s, I think. But, like I say, um, like I said before, if they can somehow give us a decent show, with a decent story, um, I'm willing to overlook certain things. I will still have my um, my own my ver my own personal um, doubts about the show, but it is what it is. As we're all allowed to. I mean, you can enjoy the show by still also critiquing it. <laughs> I mean, it's still possible to do both of these things. But anyway, like I said, go watch the trailer, and I'm going to show you guys fan reaction. And surprisingly, fans reaction is actually positive to is it the, it's a pretty cool little blood action here i, I, I like it's i think they're trying as you can see in this picture i think they're actually trying a little bit it looks pretty decent is the, the group together she does have little zangles being here it's not too bad i actually really like it, it you're not gonna get the quadruple D chick from the anime, but it's, he does look attractive. And, oh, the dog is there. There we go. And one thing I will say, I didn't see that character that was in the anime. I forgot her name. Hopefully, they somehow put her in the show. I didn't see her in the trailer. The trailer looks good. It's, it's, it's action-packed. Now, I'm going to show you guys some comments in regards to the... There we go, right here. It looks kind of small, so I can enlarge it. Whatever happened to the soundtrack, whatever happened to the soundtrack by Yoko Kano will always be a legendary classic. Yes, 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 yes. I totally agree. One thing I would say is I'm glad they didn't edit it. They didn't change it. They didn't touch the soundtrack. And I, listen, Netflix may be jacking up in a lot of areas, but they did get that right. And I'm glad they didn't touch it. And even in the trailer, they had a little jazz, smooth jazz opening. I gotta say, it was a smooth touch. <laughs> it was a smooth touch. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Smooth touch. I give him that. Listen, when we talk on this show, we talk about the bad and the good. So though I have my bad um, issues with the show, we gotta talk about the good as well. So they did get that right. 
This is a lot camper than I was expecting. Not saying that that's bad, just means I'm gonna have to grade on a whole new curve. You see, Joe's really trying to do the American voiceover at his can, um, cadence. Good call. It, see, people are generally uh, enjoying the trailer. Let's open up a new one, guys. I love how they didn't even remake Tank. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Don't touch it. Leave it the way it is. That would bring back old fans, or at least make the old fans stick around to enjoy, well, stick around to watch the show to the ending, just by not touching Tank. Amazing decision from Netflix. This is either going to be outstanding or absolutely horrendous. I also agree with that too. I think there's not gonna be, I mean, there's room to be like, sort of good, sort of bad, but I do think that it's either gonna be really good or people want to judge the crap out of it. And maybe, <laughs> the faith in Netflix and come to live action adaptations is already in the gutter, right? So this is their way to redeem themselves. This is their redemption story, okay? They gotta get this right, in my opinion. If they want people to have faith in any further future projects when it comes to live action adaptation by manga or anime, this is a way to give themselves um, some redemption. So my biggest criticism in this trailer is John Cho portraying of Spike. He comes across too restraint as Spike and not laid back, which he which he's supposed to be. Okay, I, I can see that. All right, and Spike in the anime, in case um, of course you guys are aware of Spike, he is very laid back, but he seems more um, aggressive in the show. Just from the trailer, obviously I haven't seen the show myself. I wish I did, but yeah, it, it, he, looks, he seems a bit more aggressive in the trailer but i'm sure it's hard to really determine from like a one and a half one minute 30 second clip of the thing so it, there might be some differences when you actually watch the show that that's just my opinion okay the original is so timeless it's hard to reproduce um but it's really looked like they had fun making this i'm in uh, yeah i mean it's i think people i mean at least from my channel in my opinion I would say that I didn't really go after the show like I, people think I did. I attacked the wardrobe, I attacked certain things. I did not like the comic, that I'm sticking with. But as far as the show, if you watch my previous episode in regards to Cowboy Bebop, I kind of praised certain things about the show. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you're gonna either hate it or love it at this point. I mean, let's do one more. Need to get this a fair go. You can see it clearly has the spirit, but let's see if they're They've learned anything from Netflix, Death Note. I, like, see? See? Exactly. Exactly. I say it all the time. Death Note and a few other live action shows from Netflix is what destroyed the reputation. So, yeah. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer if you saw it already. If you enjoyed it. If you're looking forward to it. I kind of am looking forward to watching this show. It looks pretty interesting. Obviously, like I said, we are all allowed to have our criticism about the show, but I'm willing to give this show a try once it comes out. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you enjoyed it, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you liked about the trailer. If you liked the trailer or if you disliked it, let me know how you feel. So, once again, thank you guys for tuning into the Voice of Reason podcast. Uh, do me a favor and like share this episode if you enjoyed it drop a comment like i said before most importantly man y'all know the deal subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel to support the channel i would appreciate that once i reach 300 or i think it's 500 subscribers it'd be easy for me to do other stuff on youtube that would include doing giveaways like i did before when i gave away halo infinite in case you guys were not aware yes i gave a lucky guy halo infinite for winning <laughs> to think anyway um yeah thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you guys on the next segment have a great rest of your day peace